Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams, and in this video we're going to learn about two types of random variables. Alright, a random variable takes numerical values that describe the outcomes of a chance process. The probability distribution gives its possible values and their probabilities for a random variable. A discrete random variable, which we usually use capital letters to denote um, the variable, x takes a fixed set of numerical values with gaps between them. A continuous random variable, again we also use a capital letter, um, x can take any value in an interval on the number line. So discrete is where you have set numbers with gaps, continuous is where it can be any value. Alright, let's do an example of finding probabilities for discrete random variables. The AP Statistics exam is administered annually by hundreds of thousands of students across the world by the College Board. The students earn a score from 1 to 5, where 5 is the highest score. Imagine randomly selecting one of the test takers from a recent year and checking that the students score on the AP Statistics exam. That's our chance process. Define the random variable x equals AP Statistics exam scores of a randomly selected student in a recent year. So we have this probability distribution um, with their scores and their probabilities. Part A, write the events the student scored a 4 on the AP statistics exam in terms of x and then find the probability. So the probability that x equals 4 would be writing that um, in terms of x. And then I need to calculate 4 so I can see that the probability for 4 is missing, but I have all the other probabilities. I know that probabilities have to add up to 1 or 100%. So I'm going to do 1 minus, and then I'm going to take the probability for year, or for score of a 1, a score of a 2, a score of a 3, and a score of a 5. I'm going to add all those together and subtract it from 1. So 1 minus 0 0.808 gives me 0 0.192. So the probability that a student scored a 4 on the AP statistics exam is 19.2%. Part B, a score of three or more is considered a passing score. What is the probability that a randomly selected student has a passing score? All right, so the probability that X is greater than or equal to three would be three, the probability for three, plus the probability for four, which we just calculated in part A, plus the probability of a five, and we add those together and we get 0.578, so about 58% are passing. All right, a discrete or continuous random variable. So deciding between if it's discrete or continuous. Suppose a professional tennis player has kept data for every serve made over her entire career so that at the end of her career, she has data for thousands of serves. Randomly select one of these serves over her career. Classify each of the following random variables as discrete or continuous. Okay, so S the speed in miles per hour of the serve. Well, the speed can be continuous. It can take on any value. It can have decimals. It could go down to milliseconds, seconds. Um, part B, or random variable B, is a zero if the serve landed out of bounds and a one if the serve landed in bounds. So it can only take on those two values. So this would be discrete. R is the length of the rally, which is the number of shots until the point is over, resulting from the serve. So the number of shots, you can't really take like three and a half shots. You have to just take one or two or three or four. So this would be discrete as well. All right, finding probabilities for continuous random variables. The amount of candy produced in an eight hour shift on one production line for a type of candy can be modeled by a normal distribution. All right, so I'm gonna draw my normal distribution with a mean of 10,000 pounds and a standard deviation of 450 pounds. So 10,000 pounds for my mean, 450 for my standard deviation. Suppose we choose an eight hour shift at random and let C equal the amount of candy produced in pounds Find the probability that C is between 9,500 and 10,500 pounds. Describe the probability in words. So I'm going to go to 9,500, 10,500. I'm trying to find in between. 
when I'm working with a normal distribution and I want to find the area under the curve, I'm going to do a normal CDF. My lower bound is going to be 9,500. My upper bound is going to be 10,500. My mean is 10,000 and my standard deviation is 450. I plug that in, I get 0.7335. Now they asked me to describe this in words. So there is about a 0.73 probability that I randomly selected eight hour shift will produce between 9,500 pounds and 10,500 pounds of candy. All right, go see how.